so we got to take this wild cherry down. Uh, we got a bunch of dead branches up there, so I want to find a use for it. So I'm thinking, let's make a log cabin birdhouse. I'm thinking these areas will work great. Good thickness, right size. Uh, let's chop it down and let's go uh, build it. Oh, wow. Dad, you got movement. Okay, so we got the right size log here. First cut we want to make is a flat cut. That's going to be the bottom. We want to take the bottom piece and the top piece off. Now when we cut the top, we want an angle so that when the snow and the rain comes, it can run right off. So we want to angle it. So let's make that cut. Now that we had them cut in half, and you will see the angle so we can set the roof on and the little drain, but as we cut them in half, you will see, I'm going to show you two different ways to hollow these out. One is by your uh, table saw using the blade. Another is using the chainsaw. Uh, the chainsaw is a little rougher, but that's okay. The birds like it that way. This way they can grab onto things and climb up. You don't need a sm smooth finish. The birds don't care. where we want them. Now, I'm going to screw these back together. I'm going to make holes in here and just put myself some screws and attach the two sides together. We're going to pre-drill. I'm going to use some stainless steel screws so they won't rust and hit the corners first and then I'll work in the center. Good. I'm off a little bit in this side. So I'm just going to use the clamps to help me bring it together the best we can. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, I went and got the bottom piece. We're going to put the bottom piece on, find how that matches, because that was a nice cut, it matches. And I'm going to use screws. The reason I'm going to use screws is if I ever want to clean this out, I'm just going to hit four screws, unscrew it, and it's going to be an easy clean out. So I'm just going to put four screws. Just going to drill, tap them. bottom is done. Okay. 
put the top on, drill the hole, we're going to be ready to mount this baby. Same procedure with the top. We're going to put a couple screws and uh, be done. Not bad. Got a great slant. Let's put our hole. We'll be able to mount it and we're all set. Alright, got my wood bit. I do recommend to do this on a drill press if you have one. I just don't happen to have it. Don't have it happen to have it set up. So I'm gonna try it the old-fashioned way. All right, we're all done. I'm pretty pleased with this. What a great little project. Hey, next time you gotta take a tree down, think about it. Great project, uh, fun and easy to do. Hope you learned something here. Hope you had fun. Thanks for watching. I'm Ken Deiniger, just another backyard project.